Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today on our draft prospects, we're going to take a look at Troy Bonatu. But before we get into the film of Troy, let's talk about his size, some of his, some of his accomplishments, plus the strengths and weaknesses I've witnessed, I've witnessed so far. Uh, first off, he's 6'4", 320 pounds. His accomplishments, he was all Pac-12 first 10 in 2023, the Morris Trophy Award winner in 2023, and all Pac-12 in 2022. Um, he's a physical, physical athletic freak i make sure i got to put the word athletic in now we're going to show you some of that on tape extremely athletic for a guy that size uh his strengths he's a physical run blocker athletic ability personal i'm sorry positional flexibility concerns arm length that's why he's kind of said to be a guard because of arm length but we know how these arm length guys are they you take a guy and move him just because of his arms and it's an issue uh, hand technique is another issue, and we'll talk about that in the video, too. Uh, he's overly aggressive at times. But those concerns, they do not outweigh his positives because when I tell you this guy is a freak athlete playing O-line, you're about to take a look at it. Let's get into the film of Troy Fanadu, offensive lineman from Washington, who played tackle for Washington, projecting as a guard, but I think he still can play some tackles, too, in the NFL. Let's get to it. All right, let's get into the film. Now, if this is your first time here and you like the content, hit the like video. And if you really like it, consider subscribing and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of this draft content drop for the 2024 draft process. But let's get into Troy's tape. Now, I got this game of V, v versus Michigan. We'll have another game that we'll do on the second channel on Morris Vitale. But we're going to take the national champs and look at how well he did in the national championship game versus Michigan. It's going to be some positive. It's going to be some negative. But we're going to look at it all on this channel. I think I got one, two, three. I got six plays. That's right. I love his ability to get out in space, man. Obviously letting that guy by. But he just runs so fluidly. Like, he's not laboring to get out there. He runs so fluidly. And then just, look at that. Just finishes the, the DB. Anytime you get an O-lineman or DB, you got to finish him. You got to finish. Got his hands on him. He got he got to go down. And he must go down hard. Remember that line from, from Rocky? He's going down and he must go down hard. He got to. Every time. Every time you get your hands on a, a DB as a lineman, they got to eat dirt. Well, in this case, eat turf. And in most cases, in most cases, I'll, let me back it up a little bit. When you get at this point, the DB can kind of, or the linebacker, whichever, whatever 23 is, he can kind of wiggle out of it and, and make you miss. Nuh uh. He squared him up, got those shoulders square, there's nowhere for him to go. Got the hand locked, well, it's on the back right now, but watch him reposition the hand. Oh, never mind, he, never, he didn't reposition. This was a hole, but we'll take it anyway. I like the aggressiveness <laughs> and finished him. As, um, as Vosh used to say, finish your food. Let's go in a second. Are you, are you saw him pumped up, huh? Watch. Watch him right here at the end. Oh, he's just kicking a dude. I like that nastiness too. <laughs> Next play. Again, that's your left tackle. Good feet. Really good feet. Number eight tries to speed rushing. Solid first step. Look how quick that, that step is up and down. Bam, bam. He's two steps almost before the, the defensive, defensive end takes his second. Bam. Bam. That he, his second foot's in the ground. Number eight is just taking the second step. So he's in great position to um, get hands on eight down. Look at the slide. Look at the slide. Like he doesn't punch too early. Eight thinks he's going to punch. He tries to swipe it down. He doesn't. But look at the slide. Look at the kick. Still stays in front of him. Now when he, gets, when he closes the gap or closes the distance, Got his hands on him. Hands inside. Eight tries to move. Still sliding. Still sliding. Now he's eight just took this long path to try to get around him. At this point, you can't slide anymore. You just got to run him by. And he has the wealth of thought of running by. That's not bad. Not bad. And extremely athletic. Extremely athletic. 
Like, he just look athletic. Look at him. You know, most skill guys had them, them pads above their knees and whatnot. You look like out there and you see a lineman like that. And he can move the way he can move. It's an athletic freak, man. But again, it ain't all rosy. It ain't all rosy. We'll get to some of the bad stuff in a little bit. That's part. That's some of the bad stuff right there. Now, again, initially, it's in great position. It's in great position. But this is where the arms may come into play. This is where the arms may come into play. Because 55 presses him out and just throws him right on by. Like, it's almost, it's in one move from 55, which is a good move by 55. But the arms, it's kind of an issue right here. Because he gets pressed out, you just throw him right by. And that's not a one-time thing. That's one of the things you see happen over and over on his tape. The guy, guys can press him out and just get around him like that with the um, throw through. Yeah, it's great feet here too. A different defender this time. Got 17. The first two steps are so quick. Bam, bam. 17's really got one step. He's got a takeoff step. And look how low he is. Bam, bam. That quickness right there. Or tackle. And I'm doing it in slow motion and it's still quick. And he got him squared up, shooting the hands, trying to stay inside, but he gets enough on him to kind of knock him off, off his path. And I, I like this move too. Slap it now, the arms weren't extended, but I'm just thinking if the arms were extended to slap him down, which will allow him to get closer. Because, you know, obviously he's going to have shorter arms. They're going to measure it. So if he can do that, and then get his hands inside the next time, or hands up under the breastplate, that'll help him control the defender. I just like where his head's at. Even though this execution was not necessary or it didn't work because the guy's arms were not in the position, but I like the fact that he's thinking, and that's that's one of the little tricks that he can use to stay close to people and neutralize him having shorter arms. I love him in space. I love him in sp his, his awareness and everything. Obviously, he's gonna, gonna, gonna fake the block down and get out in space. Now, watch how he gets out here and just squares this guy up. He just squares him up. That little, this little side right here is so athletic for a tackle. This little side shuffle. A lot of big guys can't move like that. And I'm not, a lot of people are probably thinking that's that's nothing. But if you're saying that you're probably a smaller guy like I used to be, and this was second nature. Big guys can't really move like this. He got the guy squared up. And again, remember when I tell you, get your hands on the DB, what you got to do? You got to finish him. Look at him. Look at him. Legs all in the air, butt in the air. Finished him. When he gets his hands on DBs, he finishes his food. That's, and that's, I love that about him. Going against eight again in a pass rush situation. And look, and, and this is, I don't mind this. Sometimes you get beat. Sometimes you will get beat. Eight set him up on the inside, outside move and came inside and he technically he's beat. But his recovery is, I just got to wash you all the way down and give my quarterback a chance. Now watch how far, look where they are now. Watch how far they end up. You got this man all the way on the hash. They started on like where the numbers were. They start right here on the two of the national championship symbol or 2024 symbol. He realizes he's inside. He just got to wash him all the way down. He washes him all the way down. And not only does he wash the defender down, he washes his center down too. He took everything with him. I love his aggression. I love his athletic ability. I love his physical style of play. The short arms, you can kind of work around that. But imagine that guy being a guard. Imagine him being a guard which is crazy. That athletic ability is Imagine him pulling on, on some counters or some, some uh, powers or some stuff like that. Look out. Look out. But we're going to watch the second game on more Sip the Tally, so I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And flip on over to more Sip the Tally so you can see the second half of Troy Fanatu's tape on my channel. Peace and love, y'all. Appreciate you.